what's happening YouTube it's a glorious day as you can see to start off this video I'm gonna do a, a, a little little quick little quick mod a little quick service item you could say the air filter on the car is looking a bit past its time it's looking a bit crusty it's looking a bit dirty and it's just not the same colour as when I bought it. It was blue, it's, it now looks a bit green. And when we got the turbo kit, it, it did come with um, a corn filter, but we didn't fit it at the time because it was a bit big. It required too much thought with everything else going on, pretty much. So I went out and I bought this blue mushroom filter. Got that in, did the job, happy days. But as I say, it is looking a bit crusty. So we're gonna get rid of that and get this red corn filter in. It's gonna require a bit of, a bit of, a bit of chopping of a, uh, the induction part, but we should be able to get it in. So we're going to start with that right now. bending it a little bit but no bother it means that this dirty horrible crusty thing is out of the way so it can only be good <laughs> gotta get some boosting for the boys while the head comes out aren't we This gets old though. Hey, but that out the way. Time to get on to the meat of the video. Yeah. The reason you all came. The reason the title and thumbnail says what it says. And I think for it, because it is such a nice day, we'll have a change of scenery. Mainly because I can't be all setting up all my lights and shit. So this will work. Ah, it's all right, isn't it? There might be a, a little bit of noise from uh, pesky neighbours and whatnot, but we'll just have to we'll just have to let that slide. Right. So, what car is going to replace the MX-5? That is a very good question. I'll start by telling you what sort of things I want from the next car. What sort of price range we'll be looking at, etc, etc. Now initially, I did want a car that had some mod cons, so your cruise control, decent seats, air con, decent sound system, stuff like that, stuff that makes it just, just nice to live with, that is also moddable. Obviously it has to be Japanese, preferably rear wheel drive, although in the list of potential cars that I chose, there is rear wheel drive cars, there's also four wheel drive cars, and there is also a cheeky little front wheel drive car. I'm, I'm staying open to possibilities. 
budget is hopefully going to be around 8k some of these cars on the list are above that some of them are around that some of them are lower than that but if i found the right car and it is more than that then i just have to find a way to make it work that all being said we'll jump into the first option which is a car that i've wanted pretty much since i knew what cars were and that is a subaru impreza wrx sti and that is a b suddenly not sure about this filming outside malarkey it's gone it's fine so the impreza as i said it's something that i've wanted for a long long time the one that we would be going for would be the hatchback shape the hatchback shape was the model that started to come with your mod cons like cruise control stuff like that 300 brake right out of the box already boosted save some time there and like i said it does have that sentimental value if, if, can you call it that is it sentimental if you never had one nostalgia is it is it nostalgia i've always wanted one but the drawbacks of the Subaru, for a decent one, it is starting to creep away from that 8K budget and also the mods are pretty expensive, which I think I'm just gonna have to sort of learn to deal with because coming from an MX-5, where stuff is very cheap to the next tier of car, if you will, stuff's bound to be more expensive, but it does hurt a bit when you're looking up spoilers and it's in the six, 700s. So the next car would be a Mitsubishi Evo. Which Evo, I hear you ask? Probably be a seven, because too fast, too furious. All right, let's see what this thing can do. Damn bro, man, like them apples. Again, there's a lot of sentimental slash nostalgic value with the Evo. I just, I just, I've just always thought they were cool. And then if I've got to a position where I could potentially get myself one, I'm going to be tempted, aren't I? But it does carry a lot of the drawbacks that the Subaru has. They are starting to creep out of that budget. Stuff is going to be expensive and it is going to be quite expensive to run, as we know Evos are. The next car would be a Mazda RX-8 R3. So the facelifted version came with a better engine, although still rotary and rather shit. It is the better variant of the rotary. Slightly more reliable than the earlier RX-8. Still has its issues. To buy the car, it's well in that budget. To run the car, it's gonna be quite a bit expensive. Although I do love the look of them, and I love the idea of owning a rotary, I just can't get that, that little thing out of my head that says, it's gonna give you a headache. <laughs> Would it be worth the headache? That's the thing. They are really cool cars and having the rotary would be a completely new learning experience which i'm well up for but again because let's say i spend 6k on one that's how much the r3s are going for roughly so I spend 6k on one i have it for two months engine goes bang need to rebuild so that's like 2k so i've got 8k into this rx8 before i've done anything you don't want to sell it for 8k with an engine rebuild on it so it's a bit of a risk so the next car or next pair of cars would be a 350z slash 370z obviously a 350z you can easily get for well under eight grand 370z you're looking at more 11 12 which is a lot of money but like i said if it was a car that i really liked and i really wanted then i'd have to figure out a way to make to make that happen get debted up to my eyeballs big 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 old v6 lump can't go wrong there obviously if you've been on the channel for a while you'll know tony used to have a 350 i drove it it was a lot of fun <laughs> i do really like them i love the like japanese muscle car feel that they have big engine up front rear wheel drive and that naturally aspirated power band as well that, that's quite addictive but again both the 350 and the 370 both share the downfall of the other cars which is how much the mods cost for the cars i found a really nice example of a 370 online and it had a, a carbon lip carbon skirts and a couple of carbon spats on the back bumper i'll just sit i'll just do, do a quick google see how much they cost 
it was two grand's worth of carbon fiber. Yeah, they look really good. Two grand good? So that's the major drawback with them. And then also power mods, because it's not a boosted engine. To get power out, there's not that many things you can do. Yeah, obviously there is, but without getting into silly money again, there's not that much you can do. And if you do want to boost it, either supercharge it or turbocharge it, you're going to need a mortgage. The next one was going to be a Honda S2000. Obviously awesome little cars. I've always liked the idea of a Honda, but upon doing an auto trader search for them, the asking price for a Honda S2000 these days is just stupid. It's actually ridiculous. For the facelift model, which is the one that I'd want, ideally, you're looking at 13, 14, 15 grand. So I think, unfortunately, S2000 is shunned off the list because they're just too expensive. And to be honest, coming from the two-seater convertible MX-5, do I really want to go straight to another two-seat convertible? I want a roof. Roofs are underrated. But speaking of Honda, that does bring us to the next car. And this is the car that since I decided to sell the MX-5, the one that I've been thinking, I'm, I think I'm going to get that one. Even though I had all these other options, I thought it's probably going to be this one. And that is a DC5 Honda Integra. Always loved them since, you know, Need for Speed Underground days. They're quite a rare car, really. You don't see many of them about. And given that it has the K20 engine, which is the same engine as the EP3 Type R, parts are plentiful and, you know, <laughs> reasonably priced. Yes, it's front wheel drive. No, it has none of the mod cons that I want, but I think it would be really cool. And that is, the DC5 is really up there. Again, I would prefer the facelift model, but you're looking at about 11 grand for them. You can get a pre-facelift for around eight, so that'd be ideal. But it just depends what's about when the time comes. That is definitely a strong contender. Do I, do, I, do I join the dark side? Do I buy a Honda? And then there's one more idea that I have in my head, which isn't necessarily a sensible option, but it is an option. You know, I'm not very sensible. So a good while ago now, me and Tony took a little uh, day's road trip over to Middlesbrough to visit a place called the Kazu. Basically the cars who import a load of Japanese cars, weird quirky stuff that you, you don't really see. And in there, they had a Toyota Publica pickup truck from the 70s, which I just fell in love with. It was super clean. I've always loved these little Japanese pickups, but being up close and personal with one, I just fell in love with it. And they also had a few of the Nissan Sunny trucks as well. My first car was a classic Mini. I didn't have it for very long because you know classic cars they break down from time to time so i ended up getting rid of it and ever since i got rid of it i wanted it back so do i do i go back down the classic route do i get a nissan sunny and send it that most definitely has none of the mod cons i want <laughs> absolutely none it won't be very comfortable it won't have a decent sound system at all it definitely does not have cruise control it definitely does not have aircon. Is it worth it? Hmm. It would be cool though, wouldn't it? So that's it. Name of current options. It's a very difficult choice to make. At the minute, I think my favourites are the DC5 still. Like I said, I do, find, I do like the idea of a Honda. And probably the Nissan Sunny truck. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I want that classic classic ownership feeling again but as I said I am open to other cars so if you do have any suggestions drop a comment make my decision even more difficult if you have enjoyed leave a like and I shall see you on the next one Ta -da.